Kevin, the car has no radio, but if, which song would you listen to to prepare yourself for the records, to drive the records, and then after to celebrate? To prepare the record, <laughs> while the record maybe... <laughs> And maybe after the record. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nurburgring, and welcome to one of the most exciting, special, exclusive videos I ever had to got the opportunity to create. Namely, um, I would not say a lap record attempt because although the GT3 RS MR is a very capable car, but I'm not sure it's gonna go as fast as a GT2 RS MR. But more importantly, today we get to see how these events happen. How do these cars get to go as quick as possible? And for that, massive thank you to Manta Racing and in this case, our dear friend Michael. How are you doing? Hey, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? It is an amazing day today. So I think it's a very good opportunity to go fast, let's call it that way. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Can you guide us through the setup? What do we have here? Well, in general, as you said, uh, we have the GT3 or SMR here. Uh, the background of this event here is more or less that we always have for lots of MR cars. Uh, we would like to do a, a lap time because we always, you know, customers ask us if I spend such a lot of money and if we uh, should uh, buy this. You can proceed. Hi, I'm fine. Sorry. No Hi. problem. How Good to you? see you. Good. How are you? <laughs> yes. Uh, when the customers spend money on your kit. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Then, you know, of course, Edis is performance related. They always want to have some kind of reference. How much faster is my car? Uh, what can I expect? The thing is that we always say our first aim is not to to decrease the lap time or get better lap times. Of course, this is the result, but the car should be easy to handle, easy to drive for everybody, not just for a pro driver, but for anybody. And this is our goal. And then we always, it's good to have a reference lap, especially when you have the one of the standard car. Exactly. Well, I'm very much excited to see what the car will be able to go for. Uh, I believe the previous RS, the Gen 1 uh, GT3 RS, did it like, what, five seconds faster or even more? Well, th this is also a thing when people call us and say, well, there is such a big step between the two cars. I mean, what you always have to think about is who drove the car. You know, people are mixing up Sport Auto Lab with uh, Christian, who is also a really good driver, but the next one was Kevin in this car. I mean, there is a difference in the car, there is a difference in the drivers. So there is always, you know, you, you have to check what you compare. Exactly. So let's have a look quickly at the setup. The car we already covered more in detail. Check out the video up here in case you missed it. But has anything changed? Because quite often people say like, oh, those rapper records are fake references anyway, because you put full slick tires on it. You, you put 500 horsepower on top of it. Yeah. So, or is this just the base car that you always have been running? That's the base car, which we actually also had in our video. It is absolutely identical, even because when we did the video, we had also the P1300 uh, cup car seat in it. Exactly, I remember. Um, so, and still no radio. No. And there, no aircon. <laughs> no. And still the frog uh, sticker uh, on the left. And uh, yeah, it's just simply that car. And we, you know, we planned it for quite a long time. And then we had bad weather. And then it's this and that. And we have some other projects as well in our company. But now, luckily, today mm. there is a sunny day. And uh, Kevin had time. So mm. uh, we go for it. Nice. I'm excited for it. Now, speaking of the car settings, because of course you can adjust uh, suspension, wing, etc. If a customer from Manta Racing has a kit and he comes to you, I want to have exactly the same settings as the car was running on, on a lap record. Is this what you can offer or are there some secret issues behind it? No, it's absolutely, this is how we also hand out the cars uh, to our customers. Of course, you can check, maybe uh, you can go some, some small spots higher in camber. Uh, or we do it a little bit lower, but this is just, you know, you don't find like 10 seconds on it. The thing is just, if we go lower for the customer cars, then we have the situation that the customers maybe are blaming, ah, I wrapped my underbody floor or I wrecked my <laughs> diffuser. And so we are always on the maximum safe side for the customers. And we only have some small, like, you know, you go like three millimeters lower, but it's not like it's a different car. Yeah, awesome, awesome. 
So as mentioned, on the car you can check out more, we can give it a quick glimpse. But I am a lot more interested to see the setup, not of the car, just a quick look at the seat as well. But the setup of here, of your base, can we have a look at that? What do you have there? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's uh, our our setup is more or less like we also do it in uh, race events, like mm -hmm. in NLS or whatever. I mean, it's not, you know, with, with the big truck and the big launch, but uh, we still have, you know, our mechanics are on side. We have the tools here. We have the tire heating tents over there. Uh, tire heating tents, you know, most uh, or some guys then they show up with, ah, yeah, they had special cars and and uh, special tires and they did and whatever. The thing, honestly, why we are using uh, uh, tire heating tents is that we simply only have a slot of two hours and we can't try and and heat up the tires on the road and stuff like that. So we simply get it to working temperature in the tent and then put it on the car so we can go out and out of the pits do the fast lap straight away. What are the tire pressures that you're running roughly? We are running for the Cup 2 Rs, uh, 2.3 in the front and 2.5 in the rear. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah. So this, this is the base setup as explained. Very important, food, catering, so we know what's, what's being served here. Tea, coffee, very, ooh, oranges, stay healthy. Yep, yep. Tools, as mentioned. Are these the coolers for the yep. for the car, or those are the coolers for the car? We also have at the moment some lunch for the guys, uh, which is of course due to the COVID restrictions. There is no buffet, so if you see the video, it was recorded really now yeah. in April uh, 2021. <laughs> to be precise, <laughs> back then, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that dish. yeah. Cool. That's it. Well, I believe you wanted to go get some lunch, so I'll let you go do it. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll, uh, Thank you. I'll go bother the driver, see if he has yeah, yeah. something something to say. Stay off the grass today, okay? I will. I'll okay. try. I'll try. <laughs> but I have the right color. Yeah, you I do. Can, you do. I can go. Nobody sees me. Do you have some special ritual before you do a lap record attempt? Normally not. I try to take it as a like like I would take a quali, you know, in a race car. So just try to get early enough in the car, bit of concentration, know what I'm, you know look that everything is set up correctly because on a, on a race car you also have some you know buttons to to uh, turn on and off and etc and here as well so um, yeah just make sure that i'm not stressed getting in the car ready and everything and then go and try not to push too much which is often uh, yeah. they say my mistakes when i wanted <laughs> when i really want to uh, do a lap a uh, special lap, which is <laughs> in the end sometimes is better not to try to do a special lap. And, and I can speak on behalf of whole worldwide <laughs> audience. They love seeing you doing special laps and do <laughs> some. You bring the excitement into motorsports <laughs> and in this case also in the street products of Porsche. So I'm excited to see that. Now two or by now even three years ago, 656. What do you do? You have any expectations today? It's hard to know because we never done a lap really in the same configuration like today with, with hot tires starting you know at the right position right tire pressure but uh, I think five seconds faster is, is definitely um, possible and achievable more is, is difficult to say mm -hmm. uh, but I would say a low 50 is uh, I think a good target and if we go better then yeah then better I remember the last time when you did the, the, the time, the lap time with the base car and uh, we had a talk with you, you said you actually didn't have much practice time. You were actually driving, I believe, Le Mans shortly before that and you had to uh, adjust to the from the race car to the street car. So how, how is it looking like now? Do you, did you have some practice with it and can you mention some comparison or differences yeah. between the race car and the street yeah, car? Yeah, I definitely had, had uh, more practice this time and let's say shorter closer to the record lap so uh, mm -hmm. so we were here the whole week and i didn't drive 100 laps but i drove maybe 15 laps uh, mm -hmm. which i felt was enough for me mm -hmm. and uh, and just before the record lap last time i drove maybe 15 laps but then went for a race with a gt3r and then uh, came back and mm -hmm. then two laps that's it yeah. this is hard to get when exactly. you come from the from the race car to the street car now i feel for sure more more ready uh, and um, yeah, the week went well. I, I just had to to get myself up to speed because it's definitely different to the to the Grello. Um, Speaking of which, congratulations with a very fast lap time with the Grello. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, no, it's it, the Grello is, is an amazing car and uh, amazing race car. And and 
what you can do with a street car at the moment, what we can do on the notch life is just unbelievable. Yes. But it's still not a race car. There's still But more the progress weight. in the last five to ten yeah, years, it's, it's incredible. I think this is just as fast as the GT3 top cars yeah. of yeah. ten years, For definitely sure. maybe For even sure. faster. And it has no slicks and you know uh, no uh, no extreme race suspension, race brakes, you know, it's still very is, is, a, is a car you can buy and drive on the road with, uh, yeah. which is a big difference to a, a race car we race. So, uh, so for sure, this is quite astonishing, the performance which we have in these cars and, uh, and also the tires. Michelin is doing just a, an amazing job bringing this, this uh, semi-slicks uh, on the notch life and, and just having a, a huge grip. When you see the high-speed corners, I mean, this car has some aero, but then the tire has to survive, you know. Absolutely. You have to get the support, and, and this we have, so it's uh, yeah, it's quite uh, quite impressive, but also, you know, it, it takes a bit of, uh, of energy, or a lot of energy to, uh, <laughs> to do these laps in these cars. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time. I'm going to let you mentally prepare for it. Thank you. If you feel you're going that fast enough, just remember the Volkswagen up in the rearview mirror from yesterday. I they will, need to go I will. faster. <laughs> good. Yes, Have a good yes. good time, literally. <laughs> well, the Volkswagen up that I'm talking about, yesterday we had the opportunity to do some media laps. So I was driving the Volkswagen up and following Kevin or Kevin was following me. So enjoy some behind the scenes before we proceed with the main part of the day. How excited are you on a scale from one to ten? Uh, Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> What's the dinner be the night before the record run? Ah, uh, pasta, chicken, carbs. Like, like, yeah, yeah, carbs. Like in a, like before a race. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good job with the up. Yeah. You too, not too bad. Couldn't do it much faster. <laughs> Good driving. Enjoy your pasta. Thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you. As mentioned a couple of times previously, Nürburgring has now a special lap timing commission or lap timing services when everything is being done official. And a big part of it is a notary comes and inspects the car that the car is actually street homologated spec, that's the real car, the, the whole uh, the specifications of the car, the environment, etc. And we can see it happen actually there right now. So that all the parts are homologated, the mirrors are real, the seats is real, the thumb stamp is real. I can't believe you, I'm seeing you here. Hey, how's it going? Kevin, the car has no radio, but if, which song would you listen to to prepare yourself for the record, to drive the record, and then after to celebrate? Uh, to prepare the record, I would listen maybe I don't know, maybe a Chiran or something like this, something quite cool because I don't need to get the extra power. Yeah. While the record, maybe the Eye of the Tiger. Okay. And maybe after the record, Queen, we are the champions. Nice. <laughs> okay. We all know that stickers add horsepower, so last preparations, very important. How many horsepower did these add? Enough. Enough. Or is it extra aerodynamics because they're on the wing? No, no. We just want to make sure that uh, they know where the car comes from in case the US guys are, uh, uh, ask what the mister means of the Oh, door. mister. Yeah. Now my fingertip is famous. Huh? Yes. Kevin is in the car, almost ready to go. Tires are about to be taken out of their hot storage. And interesting to see that it has three different chambers and they all have different temperatures because we have three runs plus one 
safety emergency run in case something well worst case scenario run they actually calling it that way and two runs will be running on the tire pressure that Kevin is preferring one run will be run with so-called ideal tire pressure that Michelin recommends and then the fourth run is as mentioned emergency but Kevin told me well I'll just do the first two runs and then I'm done but if they want me I'll do the the third run but definitely not the fourth run we're not expecting that to happen today And off he went. I will wait here till he comes back to see how it went and after that I will proceed to T13 to film the second run. But who knows, maybe he will do it within the first run. Also der Runde ist nicht so schön. Ich würde sicher, weil ich bin Flugplatz Exit in der Wiese. Ja, und ist ein bisschen dreckig vorne. Ja. Und nach, nach Mutkurve auch. Also ich würde auf jeden Fall noch einfahren und versuchen sauber. Viel, viel mehr, also vom Gefühl, vom Reifendruck und halt, hat Gefühl gepasst, auch vorne hinten. Ja. Kevin loves a pass on the grass, but there was no pass, it's just grass. So we have moved to T13, somewhere I have to be tomorrow as well for the uh, second RCN race, but today it's uh, something more exciting. I just quickly want to say that it's a huge achievement for me, because usually I'm always standing over there behind the fence and listening when the car has passed. I hope he's just reparking. <laughs> Uh, when the car is passing the, over the curbstone to guesstimate the lap time. You can see the timing beacons over there, but now we can actually stand here and see it fly past. It's so amazing, such a good day. You've been promoted. Yes, promotion. Promoted. So the thing is, as mentioned, in the past you would measure the lap distance in a sport auto configuration where the start would be here and the finish would be there because this used to be TF paddock and they would kind of measure the same that the start would be here when you get out of the paddock etc uh, and also for the safety reasons but now you actually have to do the full full lap but because things sometimes get confusing because the full lap the 200 meter distance is actually obviously longer and makes the lap time longer it's confusing for the people you still measure with two uh, lap configuration so to say so the old one to have a comparison and the new one which is the full lap where the start and the finish point are exactly in the same location so I think we should go there and have a look how it looks like so here is the actual lap timing board the R I would say stands for Runde which is like a full lap 655 and the S is probably Sport Auto configuration the previous one 650 so that gentleman over there that you saw previously to check the car who is the notary is not only checking if the car is exactly the correct spec correct spec as it's being mentioned by the one who is performing the lap record he also has two stopwatches in his hand to make sure that the measuring equipment in this case of Vega lap timing is correct so when a car will be passing he'll be checking if it is exactly the same While he's doing his lap, I'm gonna do something more interesting, important. What's the video without a food shot? Ooh, that's good. Mountain racing should do records more often. I like this environment. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
You good? Yeah, all good. Good. It was a good one. Stayed off the grass this time? Yeah, stayed off the grass. Good. So, was cleaner. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Happy with the results? Yeah, quite happy. Uh, as I told you before, I thought... Five I seconds? Thought, yeah, and I thought uh, like a, a 50, a low 50 was, was in the car for sure and 49 was not sure. But in the end it was was good uh, good conditions today and I think I put a really good lap together, to be honest. There was no no big mistakes, just here and there, because a perfect lap on the notch life is never never possible, at least for me. Yeah, <laughs> but if, uh, it if was people very... are honest, yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> but, but it was... It was a very good lap without uh, without big mistake and committed still. So yeah, very happy with the result. Good. The car is there in one piece, me too, and uh, and it's a fast lap. So that's cool. uh, goal done. Awesome, great job, man. Thank you. Thank you. And this year, N24. Yeah, there we hope to have a good day as well. Yes. Uh, definitely, the victory is is our goal as every year. Uh, I think this year we have. Because that's your biggest dream, huh? Yeah, for sure. Like, or, for sure. or the box won, that you still need to check. Yeah, I won. I won Le Mans. This was my biggest, and and I would say the second one was Nurburgring, and okay. uh, and so far I didn't get it. We were close a few times, but uh, but didn't really get it. And uh, and I think we have a good package this year uh, with with the Grello and with the drivers, engineer. Everything's working well so far. Mm -hmm. But the 24 is such a hard race. You can't predict before, but at least it feels like from the performance and the feeling in the car, um, we. We at the moment we think that we have a good chance to be uh, competitive at the 24. Cool. Well, you know already know which number you're gonna be starting with? 911 or 912? No, 911. 911. Proper cool. Grello is 911. <laughs> good. Well, looking forward to seeing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, perfect. Well, that's pretty much it, and I would like to end the video where we started, or with the person that we started with, with our dear friend Michael. So first of all, how was it for you? Are you satisfied with the result? Yeah, we're quite satisfied with the result. I mean, we achieved what we wanted to do, so get a, a reference lap time with the MR version of the GT3 RS. Mm -hmm. I mean, such a, such a day is always, you know, there is lots of work in the background in the days prior to the event, and it's always, you know, of course, in the in the first place, you always check about the lap time, but end of the day, it has to be safe and everybody has to come back home safe and uh, the cars should be all okay. And so, you know, it was good for us. Yeah, it was good. It was, yeah, for me, it was amazing to see it up close, how it's being done. It's everything that I was hoping for and expecting. And it's actually not that secret or not that special when you're into motorsport worlds. There is like, as you can see, I could film everything, show everything, because at the end of the day, it's just a regular product you can buy. And I think this is very awesome. So for that, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's been amazing. Okay. My first ever lap records, well, lap timing event. And that I will never forget that. So thank you, Manta Racing. Thank you, Michael and the rest of the team and Kevin for his time and everyone else involved. Great food, by the way. You have great catering. I like that as yeah, well. Yeah, it's local food here. We yeah. have this also in our launch, so you're warmly welcome once the situation is calming down. Nice. To get some food. Hopefully, maybe N24, but we'll see, we'll see. But uh, we keep the hopes up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give Manta Racing a follow uh, or stop by as well to, to check out cool cars, cool products, cool merch as well, because they have a good web shop. But, uh, everything else, thanks for watching, see you then, bye! I heard you're famous for pass on the grass. <laughs> How does it feel to be passed on the grass on foot? I'm passing you on the grass! That's my best bad joke ever. <laughs>